ew, bitch, like, I had to fucking leave this video. You disgust me. Kill yourself. Okay, bye. So I'm back for another requested video. What I wish I would have known before transitioning. Sorry if the lighting's really off. There is a storm coming and I have a really bright artificial light right here. So it's making me like look really weird. I tried this space bun hairstyle. Tell me what you think. I don't know if I, it's my first time doing it and I feel like I am kind of into it, but I'm kind of like, I don't know how to feel. Um, I just wanted to do something different other than my top knot because I don't know. I just wanted a change in my life. If you want me to do more of these, let me know, but you guys seem to enjoy the last one and I'm sorry if I repeat any of the other ones that I've already said. Yeah, without further ado, let's just go. So the first thing uh, I wish I would have known before transitioning, looks and body, like the look of your body, <laughs> become more important. And what I mean by that, and this will tie into the next point that I wish I would have known, but people focus more on your looks. Obviously this, this obviously doesn't apply to every single person in the fucking world. When I lived life as a male, my looks didn't, like I didn't really, I don't know, it's hard to explain like, People weren't always focused on how my hair was looking, how my, if I was wearing makeup or not. Now it's constant. Like right now people are probably already writing mean comments like your hair is not fucking done. Like why did you transition to be a girl if your hair isn't done and blah, 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 blah. Just petty, petty shit. And like people will be like, and Jinx Monsoon, the drag queen from RuPaul's Drag Race even made a, like tweeted about this um she was like uh the only reason i found out I, or the only reason i know i'm fat is because i started doing drag and basically went on to say i don't know verbatim what they tweeted but they basically were saying that because they are a woman they impersonate women people treat her as they would treat a woman in terms of like oh you're not skinny enough or your tits aren't proportionate or your ass isn't big enough and yeah guys guys get body shame too i'm not even trying to start a fucking war in the comments but looks definitely are more importantly especially on trans women because if you are not beautiful if you don't have long luscious hair if you're not what society deems as a woman then you get a ton of shit i.e the bathroom law is going on right now. Think about it. They're saying that they don't want men putting on wigs and going into a bathroom. Well, it sucks because when you start transitioning, that's pretty much what you're perceived as. At least that's what people perceived me as. Like my teacher, when I first started transitioning, was like, hey girl, um, just a little um, tip. You can actually use the guy's bathroom if you want. <laughs> Basically like hinting to me that like, you know, that's something I definitely didn't really realize. Like, I don't know. I, f I don't know. I'm just doing personal things. So if you already knew that, then good for you. But I'm just trying to let y'all know what's up and to be ready for that. You people are going to definitely, if you are having an off day and you are on the internet or whatever, people are going to either give you dirty looks in real life or they are going to write mean comments about how ugly you are next point which ties into the first point if you are not the embodiment of femininity femininity is that right if you are not the embodiment of femininity 24 7 girl you are gonna hear about it and what i mean by this is if your hair is not perfectly curled straightened you know luscious like a fucking Pantene commercial, if your makeup is not fleeked the fuck out, if you're um, not wearing false eyelashes 24-8, bitch, because you better be sleeping in false eyelashes. If you are not wearing dresses constantly, if you are not wearing heels constantly, we'll be like, um, like I got this a lot, especially when I was first starting out. Again, people were like, Honey, why did you transition if you're just going to wear guys clothes and no makeup? Or if you're just going to wear girls clothes, no makeup, and messy hair? 
that's not what a woman is. Like, why did you transition? That's why you transition is to wear makeup, heels, and do your hair. Like, you're not a real tranny. Oh yeah, get used to hearing the word tranny because people are gonna constantly call you that. I feel like it's like, that's like the word faggot. Like, I don't know. That was stupid. That's like obvious. If you're not, and especially again, this kind of is different. If you're, if you don't make videos and stuff and you're not really active on social media, it, this will become probably really different for you. But I've even gotten this from people that I know in real life um, will be like, like, girl, why aren't you, like, wearing heels all the time? Girl, isn't that why you fucking, you know, cut your dick off, girl? Like, honey. Like, I'm like, literally, shut the fuck up before I beat your ass up. And it's really frustrating because cis girls, they don't get questioned about, like, oh, mm -hmm, I see, like, mm -hmm, you don't really want to be a girl. You're not wearing eyeliner today. Mm -hmm. Stupid shit. So get used to that because if you're on the internet, you're gonna get a lot. And when I was a guy in makeup, I never got that shit. If I wore, if I didn't wear makeup that day, people were like, yes, bitch, keep it this way. You look fucking sexy as fuck. Now, if I don't wear makeup, ew, bitch, like, I had to fucking leave this video. You disgust me. Kill yourself. Okay, bye. It's just beauty standards, I guess. I don't even know what you want to equate that to, but yeah. Only if you're on the internet, though. That, that one's kind of like a YouTube thing. Emotions. All right, so before, I feel like I might have said this before, but hormones, You when you are transitioning on hormones, like pills, shots, whatever, patches, which by the way, I would recommend pills. Don't let your doctor give you patches. They fucking made me break out and would like literally burn my skin. Anyway, I can do like a video on that too if you want me to. You will get your hormones adjusted, like you'll get them increased and sometimes decreased if your blood tests come out wonky or whatever. Get used to blood tests by the way because you're gonna be taking them very often, like needle blood drawn. But while you're switching dosage and getting adjusted to dosages, you get very emotional and if you're a person like me who battles depression and stuff, that shit does not mix well, girl. It's really, really hard and I feel like no one touches on this. Like, people are like, yeah, like I, I get kind of emotional, like, you know, I like actually have a little bit of feeling now. Bitch, I was a heartless motherfucker. I had no feelings and then after I started hormones, bitch, I will cry. I started crying the other day, like I said in one of my vlogs, because of a Shark Tank episode. Bitch, what is emotional about a fucking Shark Tank? Are you kidding me? No. Yeah, I was literally like bawling my eyes out and I'm like, this is so, like, I literally like pulled up Snapchat and looked at a reflection of myself. I was like, bitch, you so fucking annoying. Why are you crying over this? Like, let me know what you think. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.